Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session, we will create an application that looks like this. This is Dockable Pane. This is MFC C Dockable Pane class. And in this class, there is a RTF, there is a tab, a two tab pages like this. The first tab page is this is RTF, RTF control. RTF control like this and this is a uh, data grid view control and th these are hosted in MFC C dockable window uh, dockable dockable uh, pane it can be attached to any any part of the screen like this it can be combined and teared off it can be uh, arranged like this also it can be arranged like this too so in this session in this session we will create this dockable pane and this class this control is actually comes from windows form control so we will create this application to this session continues from my previous video so please subscribe to my channel and C Sharp, C++, CLR and Dane framework with MFC in this series of video. Add command routing to Windows Form Control C++ CLI version. Please download the previous source code. When source code is downloaded on your machine, then unzip it. Then rename the folder like this. Win form in Dockable Pain Solution like this. Then copy the solution. Copy the solution to your working folder like this. Then in Visual Studio, open the solution. Win form in Dockable, Dockable Pane here. This is our previous solution. And solution is loaded on in your Visual Studio. Control F file to build and run. And solution should build and run, run like this. This is the state in our previous video. Now in Solution Explorer, right click uh, MFC client, right click properties. See in general, please see .NET, .NET target framework version is 4.6. You should remember 4.6. Then here, click solution, right click, add a new project. Visual C plus CLR class library. We will name it CLR script. Click OK. Make sure the framework version should be uh, 4.6. Okay, make sure right click, property, the framework version should be 4.6. Otherwise, you have to change it. Now click the project once again, then add class CLR. CLR user control here, script output CTRL, script output CTRL, add. 
save all, now close all. Then we don't need this file, clscript.h, we don't need this, right click, remove, delete. Also clrscript.cpp, we don't need it, right click, remove, delete. And double click script output CTRL. Here, click this. If property property window is not open, then go view menu, others. Then you can open property windows like this here. Please scroll down, scroll down. Then double buffer, double buffer in set it to true. Double buffer true. Save it. Make it a little bit bigger. In the toolbox, if toolbox is not open, go to view, uh, toolbox. Select toolbox like this. Here, uh, we will, we need tool street container. It is menu, menu bar, menu and toolbars, tool street container, drag and drop here. And dark, dark fill in user control. Save it. Now properties again. Find the name. Here. We change it. Script. Tool strip container. Like this. Script tool strip container. Save it. Then tool strip tool strip here, drag and drop and scroll down here here name say script script tool strip in future videos we will also use context menu strip in future version uh, in future session now now scroll down Dark, say this one, center one, fill, click, then, one, then click this one again. Make sure, make sure script tool strip is selected, then scroll down, stretch through, then select like this. Now click tool strip once again here. We are adding a button. Click the uh, uh, pull down menu, pull down uh, button here. Click button. Then scroll down. Name. Say script settings. Tool strip button. Like this, we name it script settings to strip button. You should select the name like this. Then scroll up. Text will be settings like this. Then uh, here, display style. Change it to image and text. Save. Then text align. Text image relation here. Image above text like this. Save. Now we will create a bitmap icon for this image. Say I start L. L this application Excelis Excelis icon workshop you can purchase this uh, application in, in the internet it's not expensive so new project RGB alpha channel uh, 24 24 by 24 and double click it copy you can actually draw any icon in your own way. 
copy then here paste resize image to fit edit area like this then once again double click to open it copy ctrl a copy then paste uh, resize to fit the edit area then it will look like this okay then save save button move to your move to your solution folder see a script here and name it script settings like this save it then it is saved and it looks like this now we will I want to make a few changes spoiled uh, this color like this as if I am scribbling then close in Visual Studio again image script save it then here size to fit none then save then it will look like this your icon now now here and we will use tab control drag and drop tab control like this and we will rename it script tab control script tab control like this then go up here 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 alignment to bottom okay Sa click save then click this tab click this button no then while this this control is selected while the control is selected script tab control is selected uh, dark click dark fill dark fill like this then save it then click the this tab here this area the first tab then the name should be you should see the name tab page one here rename it to uh, result result tab page enter then scroll up in the text field here text field say result like this save in the tab page tab page 2 rename it to debug debug tab page 2 debug tab page 2 save it then scroll up scroll up here text change it to debug like this save it then click result once again here you should see result tab page and windows form toolbox we are going to reach edit reach text box drag and drop reach text box then click this dark in parents container and scroll down here accept tab true save it now scroll down 
scroll down. We'll change it result. Result reach. Reach text box one. Save it. Then in debug, click this. In sorry, I double click. Don't double click it. If you double click it, you can say select this once again. Then this is event. Debug tab double click. Reset. If you double clicked. Okay, then save again. Here again. Uh, we are going to uh, data, data. Here, data grid view. In debug pane, dark in parents. Then we will edit column. Add. The first column will be uh, message, M E S S A G, message column, column name, and header text will be message, like this, add. Then here, you see the message column is added, then line column, then header text will be line. Then name again, column. Column, column, then column, then here, file, file column, then file, like this, close, then click message once again, scroll down, uh, auto size mode, fill, like this, okay. Then at this stage, scroll down. Here, design. Make it debug. Data grid view. Like this. Save it. And right click. Right click. Here, select. Select script output control. Make it little bit bigger like this. You can make it a little bit bigger. Save all. Now we uh, we can actually control at this state. Click click once again to select it. Date, debug data grid view should be selected. Column header default style here. You can see a line, uh, middle center, middle center like this. Okay, then text will be aligned at middle center of the uh, column header. Save. Now close all. Close all document. Now we build it. Right click. Uh, build only CLR script. Okay, it's now built. We need to add here. We need to add a reference. Right click, add a reference. Then select CLR script. Okay. Then it should be added. Okay. Then in class view, in class view, no, solution view, solution explorer, Let's recompile, rebuild all. Rebuild the solution. Your solution should build successfully. Right click in Solution Explorer. MFC Client. Uh, add class. Select uh, MFC. MFC class. Add. Here, base class should be C Dockable Pane. C Dockable Pane. Then, class name should be C Script 
up like this then finish save all here mm. we will add in private section C wind form control CLR script script of control M wind script output CTRL name like this save it then in class view here C C C script output click this then in property window property message WM create WM create on add on create here save it we need to create our control this mwind it should we create manage the control the it should be dw star the first one should be dw star d word star ws child bar ws visible like this then here style then rectangle select we can put just a small rectangle this is dummy then parents id parents window this then we need this control id see idc uh, script output we will add it like this save it then we we have to add this idc script output in resource view uh, no here resource h open it then here define like this then read this value thousand control value thousand here then you have to increase one save now close then save all now it should build let's let's compile first control f7 Okay, it's successfully built. Now in class view again, script output uh, message once again. Here, uh, WM size, WM size, on size. Save this, then this M wind then set and show window force show windows set windows po okay then it is it should be insert after it should be null then X Put it minus one, minus one, then CX. CX is this value. CY, 
then flag set window for no uh, no move no no move then set window for frame change it set window set window for uh, I forgot save it save all then select output window here double click on size then we can just copy no activate okay you can just copy this text copy then here like this save okay then okay let's compile once again control F7 okay it builds it compiles now close all and here uh, C mainframe C mainframe we need to include include script output save it then scroll down here C script output and wind script output wind like this save it then we have to create it where it is created at uh, on uh, create the docking window here scroll down we will copy this one create script output window like this then we need to one string 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 for the title title of our script window Click save all then here again resource view string please note that if please note that if resource file is open you cannot edit okay if this resource file is open if it is open you cannot edit so you have to close it okay string table scroll down you can say IDS IDS script script output output and here script output okay save it and close it so you can say instead of this script output window here IDS script output save then it should be script output wind then this string here we need we need an, a command id here save it then go to menu main frame view minus here script output then select remember this id id view script output save then we can close it id view script output like this 
Then we can keep the rest as it is. Then scroll down. Uh, save all. Now compile Ctrl F7. Okay, successfully compiled. Then in class view again, we need to do one thing more. On create, double click it. Uh, double click on create here, output. So create docking window creates our C script output window here. Then scroll down here like this. Copy these two text. Now change it to script output wind like this. Then copy this text once again. Paste. Save. Okay. Save all. Now Control F5 to build and run. Control F5. Our project is built, but there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Let's see what's the problem. Okay, I built once again. You should see script output window like this. Say I will close it. I will close script output window. Close. And I run it again. I cannot see script output window. Then that's because it is recorded in uh, registry. In uh, in here. Search, say reg edit, okay. Then right click, right click, open file location. Then copy this, right click, create shortcut. Then shortcut will be created on your desktop like this then double click it here scroll down software see this is MFC client so we have to delete this click uh, delete then we run it again then you, you can see our uh, script output window like this. Okay, like this. This is uh, the output script output window we created. About how to add strings here, how to add text here. I will talk more about how to use these controls in future sessions. Thanks for watching.